Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Now in my previous video, I discussed about the methods of generation of a frequency modulated signal waveform and uh, I discussed about the Armstrong method of generation of an FM signal. So in today's video, I will be discussing about the second method of generation of FM signal which is the parameter variation method. So let us get started. Now as I said, the Armstrong method is the indirect method of generation of FM signal and the parameter variation method is the direct method of generation of frequency modulated signal. Okay. So, in both the cases, we will try to get a wide band frequency modulated signal so that we get high value of modulation index, frequency deviation and greater number of side bands. Now, this is the circuit diagram which is involved in the parameter variation method of generation of FM signal. Okay. So, here we have the message signal which consists of the data and information which is to be transmitted. Then we have a variable capacitor CV whose capacitance depends on the message or modulating signal MT. Okay, it is a variable capacitor whose capacitance depends on the message signal or the modulation signal or baseband signal MT. Then we have a capacitor C0 and inductor L0 which form an LC combination or tank circuit. Okay. This C0 and L0 combined form the tank circuit. Okay. Now the output we get across these two terminals is the required frequency modulated signal waveform. Okay. So this is the circuit diagram of parameter variation method of generation of FM signal. So, draw this diagram roughly or get a screenshot of it so that you can understand the working principle in a better way. Now, the parameter variation method is actually based on the principle that the carrier signal frequency varies with the modulating signal which is actually the principle of frequency modulation is not it. The carrier signal frequency is varied proportional to the message signal. This is the principle of frequency modulated signal and the same happens in parameter variation method. Here the tank circuit consisting of inductor L0 and two capacitors C0 and CV is used to generate the required frequency modulated signal. Okay. The tank circuit combination, the LC combination consisting of one inductor and two capacitors form the tank circuit of the electronic oscillator. It consists of the capacitor C0 and the inductor L0. Along with that, we have a variable capacitor CV. Now, the interesting thing which actually determines the generation of a frequency modulated signal is that the voltage across the variable capacitor, let us denote it as VCV, V subscript CV, is directly proportional to the modulating or message signal. So, as the modulating signal or message signal varies or changes, so does the voltage across the variable capacitor CV. Now, as the capacitance or the, the capacitance of the variable capacitor changes, uh, the voltage across the variable capacitor changes, so does the capacitance of the variable capacitor CV. So, in a way, the capacitance of the variable capacitor is directly proportional to the message signal as well as the voltage across the variable capacitor is proportional to message signal. Okay? So, we get that the capacitance of the variable capacitor is also related to the message signal or modulating signal. So, as the message signal varies, so does the capacitance of the variable capacitor. This principle is utilized in the generation of 
the frequency modulated signal. The net capacitance of the LC combination, actually the equivalent capacitance is given by CV plus C0. It is because both the capacitors CV and C0 are in parallel. So, in capacitors when they are connected in parallel, the equivalent or the net capacitance is the addition or the sum of the individual capacitances. Okay? So, the equivalent or net capacitance of the combination is CV plus C0, the sum of the individual capacitances. Now, the frequency of oscillations of the tank circuit of the uh, electronic oscillator of the LC combination is actually given by 1 by 2 pi root over of L0 into C equivalent. L0 is the inductor and C equivalent is the equivalent or net capacitance involving both C0 and CV. So, we get this uh, as 1 by 2 pi root over of L0 into C0 plus CV. So, here we have substituted the value of the equivalent or net capacitance. So, as I said, the frequency of oscillations of the tank circuit or the, or the electronic oscillator is the carrier frequency. So, the carrier frequency is dependent on the variable capacitance and the variable capacitance is dependent on the message signal. So, try to connect the dots here. The carrier frequency which is the frequency of the oscillations of the oscillator is dependent on the variable capacitance CV. Actually, it is inversely proportional to CV, isn't it? And this CV, the capacitance of the variable capacitor is proportional or is related to the message signal. So, what we get that the carrier frequency, the modulated carrier frequency is proportional to the message signal. Okay? So, this is what is uh, what constitutes frequency modulation. So, here we have indirectly, uh, uh, sorry, uh, here we have tried to generate frequency modulation with the help of the tank circuit, with the help of an oscillator. And this arrangement of generation of a frequency modulated signal with the help of an oscillator is also called as voltage controlled oscillator. It is an alternative, it's an alternative name is voltage controlled oscillator. It is because the capacitance of the variable capacitor is dependent on the modulating signal voltage. So, as uh, the frequency of oscillation is dependent on the capacitor, so the frequency is in turn proportional or related to the message signal. So, it is a voltage controlled oscillator. So, here we have discussed about the parameter variation method of generation of a frequency modulated signal. There are three key things which are uh, important here. First, the variable capacitance is also a part of the tank circuit consisting of an inductor and two capacitors. The capacitance of the variable capacitor is proportional to the message signal. Okay? Now, the frequency of oscillation is proportional or is related, is inversely proportional to the variable capacitance. So, so the frequency of oscillations is also related to the message signal. As CV is directly proportional to MT and frequency of oscillation is proportional to CV. So, we, in turn, we have the frequency of oscillation or the carrier modulating carrier frequency is proportional to the message signal, which is what we call frequency modulation. Okay? So, I hope you like this video about uh, parameter variation method of generation of SM signal. Now, in my next uh, videos, I will be discussing about the demodulation techniques of frequency modulation or how to extract a message signal from a frequency modulated signal wave. So, please subscribe my channel Engineering Tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics, communication and instrumentation engineering. Have a great day. 
thank you very much